New tonight, a reveal investigation has uncovered the state scientists are now testing more than 100 water utilities for a toxin linked to cancer and other illnesses. It's a chemical compound unregulated by the government and it's most likely found somewhere in your home. Reveal investigator Andy Parati takes us to a potential source of the problem and the drastic step one city has taken to deal with it. At the foothills of the North Georgia mountains lies one of the most biodiverse river systems in North America. The Conestoga River is incredibly special. Jesse Chapman is the executive director of the Coosa River Basin Initiative, an environmental advocacy group. While he can easily name all the fish likely swimming under his canoe. Holiday darters, amber darters. There's something else in the water he's focused on. A chemical potentially impacting the river's fragile ecosystem and those who rely on it for drinking water. Maybe more troubling what we don't know about these chemicals. Chapman is talking about a group of chemicals called perfluoroalkyl, or PFAS for short, widely used in everything from nonstick cookware to food packaging and for decades by a specific industry about an hour upstream the Conestoga River in a town that's made a name for itself. Dalton, Georgia is still the carpet capital of the world. At one point, about 90% of the world's carpet was manufactured in the Dalton area for years, often using PFAS to make the carpet more stain resistant. Chemical waste from the plants are treated here at Dalton Utilities and eventually deposited into the Conestoga. In 2016, the Environmental Protection Agency issued a lifetime health advisory for PFAS. Studies linked the chemical to liver damage, low birth weight, and cancer. Soon after, the Georgia Environmental Protection Division discovered elevated levels at one of Dalton's water treatment plants and in multiple rivers downstream, including the Ustanala, which flows through the city of Rome. It's a huge deal for us. Michael Hackett is the director of Rome's water and sewer division. After the state identified PFAS and the Ustanala, Hackett says the city did something it's never done before. It stopped using the main water intake facility that serves tens of thousands of people. The city now uses this backup facility along a different river. It's for emergencies, but the city has relied on it for more than five years. This station is is where our primary uh, water source is coming from. What now. a huge difference. Sure, sure. I mean, this looks this looks like a shack. <laughs> I mean, no offense. No, but I'm none taken. I agree. I, I agree. It wasn't it wasn't built for what it's doing right now. Last year, the city of Rome filed a lawsuit against more than a dozen carpet manufacturers. All have denied wrongdoing. Since the EPA's health advisory five years ago, PFAS remains unregulated, which means the government cannot force water utilities to treat for PFAS or limit manufacturers from using it. Oh, it's, it's immensely frustrating. Earlier this year, the state started a monitoring program testing drinking water for PFAS at 109 water treatment plants in North Georgia. This is a map identifying the testing sites, the blue dot showing the current and future locations of where the testing will take place. We've included a link to this map in this story on 11alive.com. <laughs>